everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar, and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Now, this is a different kind of episode than I have done before, only for the very fact that this has been a requested episode. Uh, I was actually contacted by a seller on Amazon and they asked me to review one of their products. When they contacted us, we went ahead and talked to them about it, looked at uh, what it was they wanted us to do and everything, and told them, of course, we are going to do a non-biased review. Uh, this review is going to be completely honest. Uh, if, if what they sent and what we got was of a good quality, you'll know that. If it wasn't, You'll know that as well. And so here we go with our product. As you can see, this is a, as it says, it says a telescope. I see something like this and this kind of a design, and I usually consider it to be a spotting scope. Okay, now well, first things first, it comes in its own carry bag. Now this is, uh, this is kind of a standard material, standard kind of somewhat canvasy type material. It has a shoulder strap that is adjustable. All right, we've come come into some instructions here, and the instructions are in, I believe, Chinese there. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, you know, this is not something that we're going to be able to do much with, but we do have this here, and this gives us everything in English. So, maybe translated all of this to fit on here and gives us the information. So it says a 20 to 60 by 60 AE spotting scope with a 45 degree angled eyepiece. Now here we go, comes in a plastic bag. There's the main part. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these parts out of here too. Uh, kind of check everything out. Um, let's see, it comes with, oh, no. Looks like, looks like this may be a, uh, Something, oh, okay, well, it's Velcroed, and we've got a tripod that comes with it. And it is fastened on, or held on here by some elastic straps. Now, this has some Velcro on the side, and it was stuck to the side of this. Uh, this could probably also be used on the bottom as well. It has a uh, microfiber uh, cloth here which is, of course, good to keep the optics clean. So we'll go ahead and move those over. Let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the stand here. It is uh, solid metal. With a, It's a very basic setup. It's not adjustable or anything, just opens out into a tripod section. Uh, it does seem to rotate here on the top, so you can move, and then you've got the up and down axis as well. Now this looks like it has the standard quarter inch type of uh, screw mount. Basically I, I could see this as being something that could be easily used for a, a camera. Uh, a lot of cameras have have mounts basically just like this but they're usually removable and they're on the large tripods so you could actually use this for multiple purposes. Now, this does seem to be a fairly strong frame, but I will say that it is just a folded or rolled piece of uh, sheet metal uh, that has been uh, coated. It seems to be a, uh, I'm not sure if that's considered a uh, powder coat or not. It, it, it seems to me that's what it would be. It's definitely not paint. So, uh, you know, it, it, it should stand up to a little bit of uh, wear and tear. And then it does have some rubber foot pads here on the bottom to help keep it from sliding around, I'm sure. So we'll go ahead and put that back down. And there we go with that. And let's go ahead and get into the, to the main piece. All right, now the first thing I, will no I notice on this is it has uh, kind of that uh, smooth coating on it. Uh, not quite a velvety feel, but it does have that kind of uh, smooth rubber or, uh, you know, the plastic coated rubber thing, rubber that's out there. Um, they have them on laptops and various other products. Uh, this doesn't quite have the velvety feel to it. It's uh, definitely a lot smoother. 
All right, so now we've got the um, lens cap here. It kind of comes off right there. That comes off. Looks like this comes out as well. Oh, that's that's interesting. Looks like it's actually got a built-in sunshade. So slide that forward so you don't have the glare. And then we've got the cover on the back here. That actually screws off and it has, this. Is, these are, uh, are these metal threads? Yes. These are metal threads. Now, I will say these are, I've seen these kind before and I'm feeling it. There's uh, a little bit in the way of burrs and stuff. I will say the threading on this, uh, and these types of threads, they can easily be stripped out. I, I do know this from experience on other products. Uh, these are very fine threads, and I already felt um, some burrs peeling off here. There was just a little tiny piece right there. So you do want to be careful with that. Uh, definitely not something you want to put a lot of pressure and crank down on uh, to close it. So it's something you do want to watch and consider with this. Uh, now at the other end here, the threads on this area actually seem to be a bit more uh, substantial uh, or not quite so um, light duty I would say but uh, here we go we have the as it, it has right here the magnification and as your set right here it says 20x and then you can rotate it there's 40x rotate it some more and there you've got your 60x so now this is a uh, pretty standard looking eyepiece, a little bit bigger than what's on maybe a standard pair of binoculars, but its basic makeup is pretty much the same. Uh, it's got that soft rubber. Then we've got the knob here, which I am sure is the fine tuning and fine adjustment knob. Now all right, well, let's go ahead over some of the specifications on this. We'll read a little further into the instruction sheet here. Uh, first thing it says here, or one of the first things I'm, I'm seeing in here, is uh, that the lenses, uh, the eyepiece, and uh, the, uh, the main lens there are multi-coated. Uh, you do, of course, have the rubber-covered uh, eyepiece there for comfort. And then, of course, it just reiterates the fact that is a 20 to 60 magnification. Uh, now, it does say that, again, like it said at the beginning there on the top, that this main lens or the objective lens is 60 millimeters. And, of course, that's the diameter of it. Uh, it has, of course, the, again, it mentions the magnification. It does give you the eye relief that is... Uh, 1.7 to 13.5 millimeters. Uh, the exit pupil diameter is uh, 3.2 to 1.1 millimeters. Uh, the field of view at 1,000 meters is 36 down to 19 meters, which is actually pretty decent. I mean, 19 meters, that's, that's uh, right around 20 yards. And, uh, of course, the 36 will be at the 20x uh, magnification, and the 19 would be when you zoom in even further to the 60x magnification. It has an internal focusing system, which is basically what the, uh, the quick focus knob is. It, uh, has a, it uses a prism-style focusing uh, lens. Uh, it is nitrogen filled. So far, this doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's definitely definitely feels like a nice solid build. It's not super heavy, but it's not a, a real lightweight, cheap piece of plastic either. So it's got a nice balance right there. Uh, it does have a nice feel to it. it. Does have some nice little accessories like this sunshade that slides out. Of course, the covers for both of the uh, lenses, the primary there, and then the eyepiece. Uh, now, of course, again, I'm not real thrilled with the way that these uh, threads on the cover here are made, but the threads that are on the main piece itself are actually very nice. So, you know, it, it's kind of, okay, you've got one side is decent, the other side is not so much. Uh, basically, we got to be very careful with cross-threading it. Uh, and uh, there we go, it spins right on, and then we'll just 
give it a little a light snug uh, twist there just enough to hold it on there the uh, tripod here uh, it's definitely very low and everything you'd want to use it in the prone position or laying down if you're not familiar with the uh, with uh, you know shooting terminology but uh, it does have some strength to it it's not it's not flimsy these uh, even though this is just kind of a rounded over piece of metal it's not super thin it's not really really thin tissue paper kind of sheet metal uh, so it will definitely hold up now of course you're not going to be putting a ton of weight on it you're only putting that on there so it doesn't need to be super strong and you would like to keep it lightweight so that uh, you can carry it around uh, of course it has the uh, the section here to hold it down and keep it secure inside the bag so that it doesn't flop around and maybe damage even the scope there and uh, then you've got the nice bag here so we'll take and uh, very nice the way that it's set it, the velcro is on this side so it separates between the scope and the uh, tripod and when you put it in here you keep it nice and safe we'll just pop these pieces up here zip it all together and it's ready to go so we'll be back here in a little bit we'll uh, try and take a look at what this is out in the field and everything and uh, you know we'll uh, we'll finish everything off okay everybody we're uh, outside here we've gotten an area that uh, we can get a good distance view this is actually one of the highest points in my area um, in terms of like hills and valleys and all that kind of thing and uh, as you can see we are here at the back of my car I've already got the scope set up and I have it pointing out here across the way now I'm not sure if you can see it I am trying to put it right in the middle here but it's very hard to see on the camera lens but there is out here on the horizon you should be able to see some white buildings I think clear out there they're way way out there and uh, of those white buildings there there is a barn now this is being recorded the lens that I have on this right now is an 18 millimeter to 200 millimeter so uh, let's go ahead we're gonna go ahead and try and zoom in with the 200 millimeter so we can try and bring that in a little bit and there you go see see that barn right there in the middle I got it right in the middle of the screen now now I've taken and I've set this up like I said and I am pointed directly at that barn and I've looked through it got it all lined up and it didn't take much the uh, the little auto or the little fine-tuning adjustment there had to spin it out a little bit but uh, once I spun it out it, it brought it in super sharp and clear and I brought that thing in so that it looks like it is just right here on the other side of this field all right everybody I know this is really difficult to see uh, we've got some blurring because of uh, I think the lenses are fogging a little and stuff but you can see through there and you see how close that looks through this lens and then I mean we're looking through this now this lens is brought back clear back to the 18 millimeter uh, portion so we're we're looking at this and that's how far that it's bringing in you can actually see the uh, barn and the other building beside it there I know it's a little bit difficult to see and everything but I'm just trying to give you a general idea and a consensus on what it looks like and how much this is zooming in and quite honestly this is working really really well um, I am honestly very impressed with it taking a look here now I am sitting here and I'm looking through this right now at that barn and I can actually see the individual wood boards that make up the outside of the barn I can see the peeling paint I can uh, you know I can see I can see a lot of detail there is a there is a flatbed truck over there that is right beside the barn and uh, 
That second building over there is a garage, it looks like, which has a very large doorway um, for larger trucks to go in. So uh, I am seeing a lot of definition with this. And to be honest, I'm definitely very impressed. So I would say, you know, this is definitely zooming things in a lot. Now I can't tell you how far away that actually is. I don't have a range finder or anything like that where I can point it there and tell you. I can tell you that I'm sure that is a minimum of a kilometer away. I'm guessing it's probably closer to a mile away, which would be 1.6 kilometers. So anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll head on back and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up, guys. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, got a chance to see this out in the field and uh, you know, kind of explain there what was going on and what we were seeing and everything. So now it's up to you to decide whether you'd like to get this. We've reviewed what it is, what it came with, how it works and everything like that. Now, uh, something, uh, of course, as I mentioned before, there is the uh, link to this down in the description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to take a look at our social media outlets. Those are, of course, all down there in the description below. And uh, while you're on your way down, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let's us know that you like our content and would like to see more. And uh, also, there's going to be that button floating around. And it's going to be about right in there. And that's going to uh, be the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that. Set up your notifications with that bell icon down there. And uh, it will let you know when we have new videos out. Anyhow, I am Cougar with World of Me. This has been another episode of the Amazon Review Series. I will see you guys later and have a good day. Bye.